everyone, good morning, happy Wednesday. I got the day right today, so we're at least on a good start there. Um, in light of my injury yesterday, those of you who saw my story, um, I ate it real good at the gym. I was doing box jumps and my right foot just snagged the edge of the box and I banged my leg up real good. Last night, it was swollen really badly. Um, I have about an inch long, you know, maybe a little bit more than that gouge out of my leg. Like looks like someone just took an ice cream scoop and gouged out the front of my shin. Um, so today we're gonna talk about whether when you get injured, should you heat or ice, okay? Now, this really isn't should you heat or ice. It's more of assessing when is it appropriate to heat and when is it appropriate to ice. So last night, like I mentioned, my my shin was blown up. I mean, my whole, like you can feel like your shin bone, right? When you kind of look at, when you, someone kicked you in the shin, right? You can feel that bone. You couldn't even feel my bone. That's how swollen my leg was. And I actually was feeling the compression in my calf and my foot was kind of getting a little numb almost. So the swelling was just out of control. In a case like that, ice. If there is visible swelling, ice, okay? Ice, ice, ice. Every other circumstance, if you've got a hip injury that you've been dealing with for the past three years, heat. If you feel like your lower back is sore from sitting in your chair all day, heat. Today, or maybe not today, today might be a little soon, but in a couple of days when the swelling is gone in this injury, I'm gonna switch over to heat, okay? And the reason behind that, a lot of old school docs will tell you to ice, and that's just very outdated research. That's research back from the you know 90s and 80s. Updated research tells us something different about how we deal with injuries that people have never really thought about before. So let me kind of explain to you how, how heat works in an injury and why it's important to heat, okay? So when we get injured, our bodies go through inflammation in order to repair right? And we think of inflammation in our culture as like a four letter word, right? We hear the word inflammation and we go, uh, no, we don't want that, right? But inflammation is actually what heals your body, right? If you're sore after a workout, what, why does the scale pop up when you're sore? Because of inflammation, because your body produces all these extra cells to travel through your bloodstream to the injured tissue or the damaged tissue or whatever's going on and fix it, right? So ice, will reduce inflammation. That is true. Ice will reduce inflammation. That is 100% true. But if you're trying to heal tissue, you need that inflammation, right? We need controlled inflammation, right? So last night when my leg was blown up, um, you know, and super swollen and I was getting like neurological symptoms in that foot, again, we needed to control that inflammation with ice, right? What heat will do, heat, will dilate your blood vessels. So heat will make your blood vessels bigger and allow inflammation to happen faster, which is really cool. So heat will actually speed up the healing process. Whereas again, ice will restrict blood, blood vessels, restrict inflammation and slow down the heating process. So if you're putting ice on an injury that is, again, a chronic injury, something you've been dealing with for years, or um, you know any kind of chronic pain that you have, if you're putting ice on there, you're actually slowing down and impeding the healing process. And a lot of people think, oh, well, if I put ice, I'm, I'm slowing down inflammation, I'm reducing inflammation. That's actually a bad thing. You want blood flow to that area. You want that tissue to receive those inflammatory chemicals because that's how your body naturally heals, right? That's how your body addresses these issues, okay? So rule of thumb, unless a injury, unless the tissue that is painful or injured is visibly swollen, heat, okay? Unless it's visibly swollen, always, always, always heat. If it's visibly swollen, ice, okay? So if that helped you guys out today, cheers. Happy Wednesday. I am live as a reminder, Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Central Time. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.